Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and today we're going to go take a look at a really cool old boat. It's over on the eastern shore, it's a couple hours away, but it's going to be a fun trip, and I'm dying to see what this boat looks like. So come along with me for the ride. So the boat we're going to go look at today, from my understanding, is a hand-built boat. Uh, the gentleman who owns it, he had it listed for sale on Craigslist, but uh, he's decided to keep the boat. He's actually going to pass it down to one of his grandchildren. Uh, it's an interesting boat because uh, it's sort of built like a sailboat, but it's not really a sailboat. It has options for a sail, but only for like downwind sailing apparently. But it's got a lot of really special touches on it, and that's why we're going to go take a look at this boat today. It's not everybody who has a unique boat. You know, most of us all have the same kind of boats. And this one really caught my attention because it was something that looked different. It's gonna be awesome. We still got another, uh, about another hour or so to go before we're there. But um, it's a nice day. Get to ride around on the Eastern Shore of Maryland and see some sights. So we arrived and we finally got to see this beautiful boat in person. It's a diesel cruiser what's called an overnighter. It's 21 feet long, fiberglass epoxy construction over wood, with tiller steering, powered by a Yanmar diesel. It has two berths and a portable toilet in the cabin, and it has a removable folding auxiliary mast, specifically for downwind sailing, because it has no keel. So it took John, the owner, about four years to make this boat. When I asked him why he built it, he said he wanted something just for slow cruising around with him and his wife that they could stay overnight on. Some of its special features, the throttle is off of a Cub Cadet riding mower, and the uh, shifter to engage from forward and reverse came from a master control switch for, uh, from a power company. The motor is a Yanmar that he converted himself to uh, cool with fresh water. He got this motor and did all the modifications necessary to make it work in this situation uh, with a wet exhaust. And uh, the only minor glitch that he had along the way was he actually had used the wrong stainless steel for one of the pipes and started seeing some problems with that and realized there were actually two different types of stainless steel. One of the really cool things about this boat is the fact that everything is hand-built and fabricated. So he didn't go off the shelf and buy pieces for this boat. He didn't go in and say, oh, I'm just going to use this kit. When he was doing things like, for example, this anchor platform, he had a vision for what he wanted to do, and he built this, and he put this all together. And then as he used these things, and they didn't work exactly as perfectly as he wanted them to, he went back and modified them and tweaked them a little bit to improve them. Like this one here, part of the problem it had was the angle that it came across. So it didn't work as perfectly as he wanted it to, so he had to make a modification to this. This is one of the few areas in the boat that he actually had to modify after building the boat. And that, for a person who's not a professional boat builder, I think is, it speaks volumes. And, uh, it's really awesome because whenever you look at person, you look at these things and you go, oh, I see how this works. I see how this was made. But doing that without those plans and without that vision already is, is, is fascinating and, and awesome. And just this section right here alone, I, I look at and I go, that would have taken me all summer to figure out how to do something like that. This boat has many interesting and unique features. For example, if you buy a sailboat, it has a keel and it has a full set of sails. If you buy a power boat, it's usually powered by a, a inboard outboard motor or an outboard engine. This boat is designed where it's using a sailboat engine that goes along at, at, at six knots. So it's not a fast boat, but it also does not actually have a keel and it only has one sail. So it's only meant for sailing in one direction. It's not meant to be used as a sailboat and for the maneuverability of a sailboat. But it's also not a power boat. This is a boat for cruising. This is a boat for just riding around in and enjoying the journey. And that's one of the neat things about this is there's a picture inside of the boat here 
that talks about that, that captures that, that, that essence. And this is the boat that's about the journey. It's about enjoying the ride. It's about enjoying the boat. And that's one of the things that I love. I am not a speedboat person and I do not know enough about sailing. But this boat here, this is the boat that you, if you like riding around and enjoying a boat and having a beautiful piece of art that you are riding in, this is it right here. Some of the cool details of this boat are things like the stained glass window and that beautifully stained door. And then the attention to detail with some of the hardware. I mean, high-end boats that cost a whole bunch of money don't have some of the attention to detail with the hardware that this boat has. And when I ask the builder about all of the different features and why he used some of the materials he used in different places, he had reasoning behind all of it, and he has experience with some of the other boats he built for why he chose some of the things he did. Like, for example, this like Trex-type de decking rub rail, and then screwing it in with this stainless strip. That's genius, and it looks so great. And it's very sturdy, and it's held up well, and it looks beautiful. And then, of course, you've got stained wood up here, and he's using those nylon cleats, which I like those a lot. I've been thinking about putting them on my boat, and he was telling me how much he likes them and is using them, and I think I'm going to be switching some of those out on my boat. But it's just a beautiful boat, and I know these kind of boats aren't for everyone, but this boat would look really good in my backyard. The level of craftsmanship of this boat is overwhelming, and I hope this video captures just a little bit of that because seeing it in person is so amazing. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of this beautiful boat. It's definitely a one of a kind and it's a work of art and uh, I hope I captured this well on video because these kinds of things should be shared. I think there can be inspirational for a lot of other people out there who are looking to build their own boat or looking for ideas of what kind of ideal boat they want. I know it's not for everyone but it would definitely be the kind of boat for me. And I loved the idea of being able to get a chance to see it today. So I want to thank John for letting me shoot this video of his boat and for his time today. He gave me a whole lot of information about it and I hope this video captured one tenth of what he was able to tell me. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Get some now? Yeah. Just grab a whole big chunk of it. the boat footage we have the better. Good thing we live in Maryland where it's like a good place to do boat stuff. <laughs> no, but like what are those boats doing? Oh, probably fishing. Getting okay. their crab pots. Gotcha. The one boat, the big boat is a crabbing boat. The one with the tires on the side. Right.